Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be highlighting the Celo Breeze Eco Smart AC Controller. It works with mini splits, window units, and portable air conditioning units. And what it does is it makes it to where you can control these units straight from your smartphone. Now, Celo does offer several different makes and models of their smart controllers, but this video we're going to focus on the Breeze Eco. Here's the current pricing, and I will provide a link in the description below if this is something that you decide to pick up for yourself. My actual mini splits were purchased through HVACdirect.com. Highly recommended. I've used them a couple of times now, but I will throw a link in the description as well for them in case you're in the market for any new system. Now, the Celo Breeze Eco comes in a couple of different color options. I've got one of each, the white and the black, and they're very compatible with different types of technology. They work with Alexa, Google, Siri, uh, SmartThings, as well as any IFTTT devices. Now, before making your purchase of a Celo Breeze, you want to make sure that it's compatible. So here's the remote that came with my mini split, and I'll provide a link below, but they have a list of compatible remotes on their website, and you just want to make sure that you can actually locate yours on their site to make sure that you're not going to have any issues. So here's one of the units out of the box. It's a very sleek design, nice and clean. Uh, it's a light piece of equipment as well. Uh, it doesn't take very much power either. And it says in the instructions that you want to place it within 20 feet or 6 meters, and as well as in the line of sight of your air conditioner. It says if the signal is not reaching the AC, to place it in another suitable location within the room. Um, you also want to avoid deviated sensor readings, um, meaning that you don't want to place it where it could be exposed to any excessive sunlight or other heat sources. And it comes with this full instruction booklet here. You can scan to set it up with your Apple or your Android, but there is going to be a quick little setup, and we'll touch on that here in just a few minutes. But here's again is that unit, and I'm just going to do a quick unboxing here just to kind of show you everything that it comes with. So that's the unit that we had out just a second ago, and then we have some wall mounting hardware. You can either actually mount it here um, with these screws, or you can just use the 3M tape, which is most likely what I'll do. Or if you just want to set it on a shelf, it also comes with a little stand here that the unit will just click right into. Next up is the power adapter here, and it's basically just going to be a USB power adapter. Uh, plug straight into the wall. The unit will always need to be plugged in and it's got a section of cabling. So here's what you get um, aside from the mounting hardware and the stand. Here's the white unit and this is the one that we're going to be mounting in the office area. Uh, here's just the back of the unit. There's a power button on the front here that you can use to control on the on and off but most likely what you're going to be using is your phone. And then here's just a quick example of the stand that you can use if you'd rather not mount it to the wall um, with a screw or with the sticky tape. But again, in my case, I think that's going to actually work out a lot better just to use the supplied 3M material. So it's just double-sided, just like any other 3M. Just stick it onto the unit, peel the other side off, find the appropriate place on the wall, uh, again, within 20 feet um, at least, and then uh, you're going to have it out, able to power on. Uh, I've already got mine connected here. That's why I'm able to turn it on with the AC controller. Um, from moving forward, I'm just going to use the phone. But for the rest of you guys, you're not going to have any power connected. We're going to have to go ahead and get everything registered on the app. So once you download the Celo Home app, it's going to tell you step by step what to do, beginning with plugging it in. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to hold the light on the front until it starts blinking. Uh, once it does that, it's going to be able to communicate with your smartphone and you'll get the confirmation here. Um, after that, you're going to go ahead and back out of the app and go ahead and get your Wi-Fi connected. So it's going to prompt you to go to your settings. And when you come back, it's going to go ahead and configure your device. It takes a couple of minutes. Uh, this has been shortened just a bit to make it a little more clear for you. Once it does that, you're going to pair your remote to the actual AC controller, and then it's going to let you know that that was successful. After that, you're all connected. You'll set your Fahrenheit or Celsius, and you can send a test on off command if you like. And then here are my two units all connected. It's basically the hub. And then here's what your main screen is going to look like. You can control the heat, the fan, the auto, um, set your temperature manually, power on and off manually. But if you go into the eSaver function on the bottom, there's an option here called Comfy Temperature. And that's what really I'm going to be using this for because what it allows you to do is set your minimum and maximum temperature. Um, basically your comfy mode and tell it to do different things so if it falls below a certain temperature it's going to come on as heat if it goes above you want it to come on as cool and cool it to a certain amount um, so that's going to take a little bit of playing with on your part to make sure everything gets set up right and it's uh, adjusted to your temperature preferences 
But once you get through setup, that's pretty much it. You're all good to go. Again, you're going to have to kind of tweak it a little bit on the app. Um, and you're also going to want to make sure that your remote stays close to the unit. Um, one thing it did recommend not to do is if you do need to use the remote for any reason, make sure you point it at the actual Breeze Eco unit, not at your mini split. Um, that way everything stays in sync. But I think this is a really great product. I think it's going to solve some short cycling issues on a lot of the internal temperatures or thermostats on these things aren't very accurate so this is just a way for you to manually control it um, remotely um, through your phone uh, or you can actually just use the unit on the wall to power on and off so you've got a lot of different great options if you have any questions about it definitely feel free to leave those in the comments below i'm still using mine i'm kind of learning more and more about it each day so i'm happy to answer any questions that you might have but in the meanwhile i'd like to thank you guys for tuning in for another video and i hope to see you on the next one all right peace